What's good, everybody? Welcome to Whole Views. Thank you for clicking that thumbnail. My name is Corey, and today we're going to be talking about trap. Question for today's video. Do you feel like nepotism kind of took this movie down a few notches? Because I do. So let's talk about it. I think this movie is good, good idea, not great execution. Let me start by saying that I do really like M. Night Shyamalan. I do like most of his work. If you follow the channel, I've done several videos talking about where I rank his films, how I rank his films. I enjoy most of what he puts out. I had fun with this one. But at the same time, the flaws that were apparent in the movie were just too glaring for me to say, oh yeah, it was really good. And I feel like if you change just a few decisions in making the film, it goes from just being all right to being good, actually. Josh Hartnett in this movie was amazing to me. I really enjoyed his performance. But if we look at the film as a whole, only really three actors brought it. Josh Hartnett, the wife, Rachel, who is played by Allison Pill, and the FBI profiler played by Haley Mills. And that person really didn't even have to do that much in the film. Everybody else you see in the film feels off to me. And when I say everybody else in the film, I mean literally everyone else in the film. I'm talking about all the police officers. I'm talking about all the concert backstage workers. I'm talking about the black guy who is played by Jonathan Langston. He felt off to me. The daughter named Riley in the film. I don't want to give out the child actor's name, but she felt off. Her line delivery did not feel great. The crazy mom, she kind of felt off. But the most egregious and the most obvious glaring issue I had with the film was Salika Shyamalan, like M. Night's daughter. She's present here and I just don't feel like she was cast correctly in that role that she played. I feel like she did a very good job with all the pop star stuff, the singing on stage and the dancing and the light interactions that she had when Josh Hartnett and his daughter were backstage and they were doing the little small interactions. But once we got her on screen opposite of Josh Hartnett, it was very clear that we have a top tier actor and then we have like a middling new to the game type actor. The reason why I point to nepotism here is because I feel like M. Night was trying to give his daughter something light to introduce her into the game and introduce her to audiences. And while he accomplished that goal, you put her out in front of people and eyes were on her. I feel like you put her in a place where she wasn't necessarily the strongest person to do with some of the things she did. After the pop star stuff ended and she got into the house and into the limousine and there was supposed to be tension, her line delivery just felt really, really lacking to me. Ultimately, I feel like they put too much on her. And if you take her character and just replace her character with a more seasoned actress, I think that you have a movie that is no longer just all right. You have a movie that is good in the eyes of most people because the two weightiest characters in this film were Josh Hartnett and Shalika Shyamalan. So you give me something where you have a better actress in her place and like, hey, we have two solid performances here. Uh, you have a really cool concept here. This is good. But looking at what we got, I feel like it's very understandable for people to not like it based on what we got because we have a good performance from Josh Hartnett. He's all over the place. And then we get the next person with the most screen time not being nowhere near his level. But those are my thoughts on Trapped. I enjoyed the movie because I like most of M. Night's work. But at the same time, I, I got to be honest, it wasn't his best. He didn't bring his A game here. I think it's mainly due to casting. You give me a better pop star who can handle the dramatic stuff outside of the concert stuff. And you put him opposite Josh Hartnett with the level of performance he gave here. I think you have a much better film. But looking at what we got, just looking at what we got, it's just all right. And that's a wrap on that one, y'all. That's all we have. Enjoy yourself, guard your heart, and go watch something good.